Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about imposter syndrome because apparently that's a thing that has its own name. Um, I don't know if this is just something that comes up in um, art and it might not, you know, it might come out in other things. But in case you're one of the lucky ones who does not know what this is, it's basically feeling like you don't deserve to be an artist, so you don't say you're an artist. So, like, um, if you are an author, like, you feel weird calling yourself an author because you've only done a couple things and all this other shit. You feel weird calling yourself a poet because, you know, you know. So you don't like doing it and you feel like people will look at you like you are not this thing that you're saying you are. You feel like you're not that thing for some reason because in your head there's some like ladder climbing hierarchy that like you have not achieved all of the steps yet to unlock level poet or level painter, you know, like there's something in there that's keeping you from doing this thing. And a lot of it I'm going to say is probably stemming from a society that tells you that you can't make a living as an artist and probably also coming from a country that's cost of living is so fucking high that being able to make enough money to live is very fucking difficult. And then on top of that, you have, since everyone tells you that you can't make enough money as an artist, you can't make a living as an artist, you automatically undervalue everything you ever sell. Like, you sell it for less and less because you feel guilty asking for more money. If I have described you in any of this shit, okay, um, you are exactly who I'm talking to right now. You are the person who needed to fucking hear this shit. This is a silly thing. And if it goes unchecked, and if you are just thinking all of these thoughts, it will get worse and worse and worse. But when you say the shit out loud, the stuff I'm saying now, it almost sounds stupid. The reason for it sounding stupid is because it is stupid. Artists of any kind, whether you're a writer, a poet, a painter, a sculptor, a, I don't know, fiberglass artist of some kind we have this innate ability to cultivate self-doubt inside of us. And that is the number one thing that causes artists to fail. But the thing you have to understand, you are what you say you are. Okay, you are what others say you are in the sense of if you were to get a job at Starbucks and they're like, okay, you're a barista, go baristi. And you're like, you know, I don't think I've been making coffee long enough to be considered a barista. So I'll just be a coffee shop employee. I feel better about that. And then your manager's like, you're a fucking barista. That's what I have to put on the, the forms. So you're a fucking barista. Even if it's your first day making coffee. And you can argue it. And you can go, you know what? I just, I don't feel comfortable with this. I do not like this. I do not want to be a part of this. And then your manager goes, okay, well, you're a cashier now. So go work the register. And you're like, ooh, cashier that sounds like I'm dealing with money and I think that's above my pay grade and 
God, I just, uh, I really would like to maybe be coffee shop employee, assistant janitor, junior janitor actually makes me feel better about myself, you know. So all this shit, like, I'm saying this stuff, and you're like, no one would ever do that. That all sounds fucking stupid. Exactly. So, you are what you do. So if you are a poet, you are a poet. If you are a author, you are an author. If you are a painter, you are a painter. So what makes this thing a thing? Is it making money on it? Okay, then make money on it. Like, sell something. And then if you sell something, does that make you feel better about it? No? So how much money do you have to make before you can call yourself one of these things? Oh, so you're saying you have to make enough money to live. Like, you have to be able to support yourself with your art before you can call yourself one of those things. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Well, here's the thing. That job at Starbucks, that barista job that you also have, you can't support yourself on that job either. Okay? So are you no longer a barista? What What are you? Are you a student at that point? See, the reason why you have a hard time doing these things and calling yourself this stuff and selling your stuff is because you put these limits and expectations. So you limit what you are allowed to do and then you put expectations on future you that you're not going to be able to do unless you do the little things now. Does this make sense to you? So this is kind of a big, heavy-handed um, little writer Wednesday video, but, um, you are what you are. If you are a poet, you are a poet. If you are a writer, you are a writer. If you're an author, you're an author. You are these things. If you have an issue with this and feel like you need to strive for more in order to be that thing, then fucking try harder, strive. But just know while you're striving, while you're trying, you still are that thing, okay? Poetic Anarchy Crash Course. It's happening um, this Monday at 7 o'clock, um, virtual. It's a one-hour um, free thing that's being hosted by, I, I've been saying it wrong this whole time, the Sims Library of Poetry. So if you go to simslibraryofpoetry.org slash events, you can sign up for the free crash course. Um you can also just go to poeticanarchy.com and do the five days free if you want to do that. Um, and just keep in mind that beta testing is over for Poetic Anarchy on YouTube. So after Halloween on November 1st, the price is going up. So if you want to get in on being able to do have three lessons a week, a live stream, daily writing prompts, um, get published, all this other shit. You need to jump in um, before the end of the month, okay? So, um, with that said, uh, Preview of a Dangerous Mind is out now. Go to my Etsy shop and pick this up. And keep buying my books, and again, type hard, and I'll talk to you guys later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the Creo or the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.